Demystifying the term, stigma. Hello dear learners. Today, we're going to delve into a term you might have come across in English conversations, books, or news, stigma. By the end of this video, you'll understand its meaning, how to use it, and the context in which it appears. Stigma is a noun, and its primary meaning relates to a mark of disgrace or discredit associated with a particular circumstance, quality, or person. Imagine a visible mark on someone that shows others they did something wrong or are different in a negative way. That's a stigma, but it doesn't always have to be a physical mark. It's often a metaphorical or social one. For instance, there's a stigma attached to seeking mental health treatment in some cultures, meaning that people might judge or look down on someone for doing so. The term stigma has its roots in ancient Greek. Originally, it referred to a physical mark, like a tattoo, made by a pointed instrument. These marks were used to identify criminals or slaves, so it was a sign of disgrace. Over time, the term evolved to represent a metaphorical mark or disgrace, rather than a physical one. To help you better grasp the term, here are a few sentences. 1. There is often a stigma associated with failing in school, which can make students afraid to ask for help. 2. Despite advancements in understanding, there's still a stigma around certain illnesses in many societies. 3. She felt the stigma of being an outsider in the tight-knit community. Understanding the concept of stigma is not just about knowing when to use the word. It's also important because recognizing stigmatizing attitudes allows us to challenge and overcome them. By promoting understanding and empathy, we can help reduce the negative impact of stigma on individuals and communities. Thank you for joining me in exploring the term, stigma. Remember, language isn't just about words, it's about understanding ideas and the world around us. I hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and use of stigma. Keep learning and expanding your vocabulary.